Hi, welcome to Conversations with Claris. Today we're with Chris Bentonville, a portfolio advisor with Claris Advisors. And we have a question for Chris. Uh, Chris, the question is, what is the role of advisor? And before you answer that, last week we talked uh, about what the value of an advisor is. So this is a little bit different, a little bit different question. And um, I think out in the industry or even from our clients, we hear a lot of times uh, things that uh, probably don't match up with what we think our role is as an advisor. So, uh, uh, Claris, what is our role as, as, a, as an advisor? Yeah, thank you, Stan. Uh, what is the role of an advisor? Uh, like you said, I think out in the industry, there's definitely a lot of confusion about exactly what that is. Uh, and I think the first thought people have when they hear the term financial or wealth advisor, uh, they immediately go to investments. They go to returns. Uh, really just managing money tends to be the first thing that, that comes to mind. Uh, but in actuality, I think it goes deeper than that. And especially here at Claris, it goes deeper than that. Uh, we aren't just managing wealth. We're managing the client experience around that wealth. Uh, and really, it's centered around this idea of a client-specific goals and objectives. Uh, when we think of wealth, oftentimes it's the dollars and cents and, and percents. Um, and though you know that's what it is, that's what we're working with. Um, but really, it goes beyond that to what a client has worked towards you know, their whole career. You know, they've amassed this wealth and what that wealth is now going to do for them. Um, you know, it's what it's gonna, what they're gonna buy, what they're gonna, the lifestyle they're gonna live, you know, how they're gonna use that wealth to, to benefit people um, and, and kind of live what they wanna do. Um, so in the pursuit of that, uh, pursuit of those objectives and uh, those goals, uh, there's kind of two sides to that equation um, as an advisor. We have that technical side, uh, which is going to be that portfolio construction. It's going to be the investment philosophy, the tax management, really the things that you know we as advisors do to maintain that wealth, to grow it, uh, and, and keep that conduit to those um, things they want to do open. Uh, but then on the other side, which is as equally, if not sometimes more important, uh, is that human or behavioral side. You know, that's the bit more ambiguous or fuzzy side of things because as people, you know, we're a little less predictable. So that's going to be those things like emotions, you know, how people react when volatility, when they experience that volatility in the portfolio, when, you know, they wake up and see that they've lost money, managing their reaction, managing, you know, how that's going to impact the portfolio. Uh, and like I said, that's as equally important because that can sometimes outweigh the return side. Sure. Um, but also with people, it's people change. So as those goals and objectives, you know, nothing stays the same all the way through. So looking and managing that portfolio and their experience around their goals, whether they're the same as when they started or as they change and how that's feasible. So I think ultimately as an advisor, our role is really to take that big picture, uh, look at things so that we can maintain that client experience um, towards you know, success in meeting those goals. Yeah, I think, Chris, a lot of times you know, we talk about where we may be psychologists as, as much as anything, and that, to your point, uh, we have to really help control the client's behavior. So uh, right on, I think, with uh, what we, we view here at Claris as being the role of an advisor. So Chris, thanks for that. We appreciate you joining us. Uh, Stay tuned for the next uh, conversation with Claris. We'll have next month. Uh, the topic's still a, uh, something in the works. So if you do have a topic or a question that you would like, make sure you contact us, and uh, we'll definitely put that in the mix and hopefully be able to answer that. Thanks for joining us.